Hello everybody. How y'all doing? Good evening. Howdy howdy and welcome. Welcome Sussy, Rune, Pimmy. Enjoy your lurk. Are you playing some some video games in the background? If so, what game do you play in? Hello Uchi, Weeb, Ao Hell, Gobi. Anyone else who might be lurking or joining us along the way? It is I. Run badness. Who else could it be? Who else would dare? The sheer impertinence of this bird. Uh, yeah, hello everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. And of course, welcome to anyone else who might be lurking. Or who might join us along the way. Did I say that already? I don't think so. Axa, what's up my dude? Yeah. Yeah, that emote is gorgeous. That there, you have like, uh, <laughs> look at him go, <laughs> Emma, darling. Welcome. Feels, feels oddly intimate, saying the name Emma, darling. But welcome, Kaleo. How's it going? Uh, yeah, it's me, Taylor. Good to see you. Uh, big shout outs to Sai for creating the, the Isle Cute emote and the subscriber version for Fine 10. So cute. Just hit me with it. Isle of Blue. And it's fantastic. And I love it. And it's so good. Um, All the music we listened to today was from Street Fighter Alpha 3. Composed by Takayuki Iwai. Uh, better known as Anarchy Takapon, uh, the name that he composed under for a long time. Composed, uh, like, all the vampire, Darkstalker games, I believe, or at least, like, I played, was a large contributing role as a composer. Uh, composed for Warzard and Cyberbots. Uh, there's, like, a whole ton of, like, classic Capcom games, like Star Gladiator and stuff. Um, and then he moved into more of a, a sound director role on things like the R-types. <laughs> the people version sucks. Retroactively disowning the people version. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, for some reason I put the Django Django too low. Uh, we're going to be starting with Zelda Breath of the Wild in just a moment. But did y'all know that in about 23 hours time, tomorrow at 7 p.m. GMT, Mega Babes is going to be hosting a game of Night Shift, which is a D&D style tabletop RPG in which uh, five plucky employees and or hangers around of a gas station uh, mart called Stop and Go will endeavor to get through a Night Shift Whilst all kinds of shit, paranormal spookies. I don't, I don't, we don't we don't know what mysteries are going to happen, but mysteries will happen, and they may well threaten our lives. And I'm I'm just trying to get through it and get paid. Uh, and yeah, jo Mega Babes is going to be the DM. I'm going to be one of the players joining me. Will be Tealer is good. Echo Chrome 15, Runtus underscore. And Jamie McGinger, and I'm I'm so excited for it. We don't know exactly where it's going to be hosted, but I imagine that whenever it's you know happening, it's going to be posted all over all of our Twitters and Discords. Wolfask has gone. Good to see you. And then on Sunday, Double Whammy Stream going to be streaming a new game. I say new. I played like a tiny bit of it on the day that it announced and got released during the Japanese indie game conference that will happen a little bit earlier in the year I think like shortly before Summer Games Fest they announced the game Drainus the vertical shmup developed by uh, Team Ladybug one of my favorite indie dev teams like easy peasy also did I say hi the crates? hello the crates I'm not sure I said hi but yeah I, I, play, I, I bought Drainus like as soon as they showed that trailer and they said I, no, I bought that shit. I logged it in. And uh, we tried a little bit of it, and it was amazing. 
follow. I, I don't know if it was an if it was like amazing, but it was really, really damn good. Really impressive in a lot of ways. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a full playthrough of Drainus on Sunday morning, and then Sunday evening, 7:30 p.m. GMT, we are gonna be playing some Lost Odyssey. And uh, we're gonna have even more new games next week. What's more, next week on Saturday, 7 p.m. I believe. I'll have to double check it. We I, we have a time confirmed, but I forgot exactly what it is. Uh, AO Hell will be joining me for the first having a hood of 2023. Uh, as, um, it's going to be a damn good one. We're going to talk about games from 2022 that we really enjoyed. We're going to be talking about games we played during 2022, even though they didn't release in the year that we enjoyed. And uh, maybe doing a little bit of talking of what's coming up in the year ahead, and maybe even a little talking about Sonic Frontiers. It's going to be good shit. A lot of really good streams coming up. But uh, let's start with tonight's really good stream. This is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What a time to be alive. Alright. So, we've got three of the Divine Beasts. Tamed. Captured. Uh, rescued, however you want to say it. They're on our side. No longer on the side of Thinky Ganon. And uh, we are, I think we're ready. We're just about ready to go and get that fourth divine beast. Valrudinia, I think it's called. Up here. We had to get back medicine for the old Goron hero who is uh, supposedly going to be helping us somehow. Also, for any any world warriors taking part in the Fantasy League or anyone who's following the Fantasy League, we have our first scoring game confirmed. MXA goes to uh, with One Piece Odyssey, which got a 76 on Open Critic so far. That that could update over time. Uh, but yeah, as it stands, that means that Ghosto has got six points, and whoever, whoever, uh, counterpicked, counterpuck, counterpacked, uh, One Piece Odyssey is now minus six. I didn't even check who that was. Frenchie, how's it going? Counterport, yeah. Someone put their, their porker where it didn't belong. I deserve to fall in lava for that remark. Um, and yeah, there's there's more people making bids. Y'all are bidding way too much. The the pressure's on there. There I can't remember what game there was. There was one game I thought, oh, oh, I might counter bid that. But if anyone counter bids, or sorry, if anyone like bids on the the movement snuffkin game, and it's not V, I will look at you very disapprovingly. Oh, AO Hell's an Anor Lawn, don't I? How far are you in Anor Lawn, though? Ah, it's the Tiny Traveler. You know, told me all about how you helped him, brother. Brother, brother. Here's a reward for you. Aliens like you need this sort of thing, right? Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with you, Nobo. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rodinia a good walloping. Daruk? You really tell me you don't know about Daruk? The Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Oh, he's got a little. I didn't even notice he had a little Goron beside him. That's cute. Trying to kill a man with the orb? Man, who, who bringing orbs to Anor Orlando? Like this around. 
Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with Karuka. Speaking of which, can you believe this, Pew? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. Delectable? I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing. But mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> I do survive on a diet of rocks. They're not exactly a renewable source of food. Becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really death mountain should be kept in smaller every game. King's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> These shit rocks are you tell me that eventually there's this Goron. You know what? That's the end of that thought. Alright, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. And Link did forget. What's gotten into you? Aliens sure are strange. Anyway, Yanobo is actually a descendant of the Great Daruk. That's why the Slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when he fire him at Verdania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because good... Sorry. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. It's like 8pm. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rodania. Ouch. You okay? Oh yeah, just peachy. Dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but... Can you please go tell Yanobo I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Elden Bridge, that's a... That's a name from... Twilight Princess, right? Elden Bridge? Oh, game theory up. Matt Pat is going to shit himself. Spanish for the Bart. You got a shrine? Is a shrine? Hmm. Um, that he has to do. Oh man, I meant to open a thread in the Discord, but the shame was too strong. 
Not even a threat. Uh, I'm gonna open a disgusting channel. For the best anime openings. For our anime openings tier list. I want everyone to be posting them. Them openings. Them good old openings that they got in mind. In there. Because at some point someone said I should do it. And that's enough for me. I need no more or no less incentive. Someone person saying, talk about anime. You fool. You absolute fools. This is going to be below me, isn't it? Below me. So I'm just not even going to think about it. like 60% of the See, that's the thing my my things are going to be based on visuals and music and I, I'm thinking that the oh no not the rock babies no what happened to them hard to find bad ones uh I guess I could probably think of a few bad ones but yeah the tears are going to be like Never skip. Skip after watching at least once per session. Skip sometimes. Yeah, I'll 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 have it more organized by then. So like how much? Yeah, like the highest here is gonna be not even. Don't skip. I have gone out of my way to watch this opening in my own time. Like multiple times. Yeah, I'll be like, gone out of my way to watch it multiple times. Watch every time, aka don't skip. Uh, watch at least once per sesh. Watch occasionally. Always skip. But Mob Psycho? I've not heard a lot of that one. And it's three top tier openings. But which is the best one, eh, how? I know what my answer is. Someone, please help me! Did I not have a weapon equipped? Oh, damn it! Crazy strong girl. You saved me again. I feel like that's the whole thing where, like, you know, characters in anime and games will add little nonsensical suffixes to their sentences. Like Naruto's Datibayo or this guy's Goro. I feel like that never translates well. I feel like you should just give up on that. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did Goro. Still no sign of boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? Not coming? But why Goro? His back hurts. As we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well... If boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rodinia. Huh? What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? Who do you think you are? Lord Daruk? 
It's dangerous to go in there, Goro. Well, I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But I risk it. Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that mean Divine Beast couldn't get over here. In order to get where Verdinia is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back, Dying Goro. Boss would normally use a cannon to lower it. Ugh, we can't get across until we figure something out. Boss can't come down here, and he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh. It occurs to me that you do know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. Let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball, and you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? I've got the roof's protection, Goro. My ancestors' help can't possibly feel me. Which means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. My ancestor to Rook was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says. It's just gotta be true. And I can use the Rook's protection just like Dark could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take him at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just, you know, be gentle about it. The gong was a good choice of sign for that one. We did it. Dad, Garl. We put our heads together. Anything is possible. Fire I got from my ancestor. The Rook's protection. It really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow. I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Garo. Let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. An entire race of himbos, you say? Marvelous. For some reason, the helicopters in Zelda are just the thing that I'm like, I don't believe it. Oh yikes, Hedry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Redinia will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt Goro. I, I always get spotted and then magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd spot those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think he'd be able to do that, Goro. And I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best idea is for you to give me a signal. To let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Uh, any ideas? A wink. A wink? Um. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to see that from way off in the distance, Goro. Try to think of something better. Karma, thank you for the votes for sta ah! A whistle? That's a great idea, Goro. When I hear your whistle, I either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. It was kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Okay then. I'm cutting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. Oh, Scoby. Oh, you. Wait up. You little rascal. Yep. Coming.
Hmm. What is one supposed to do here? Probably wasn't it. This is bad. It's coming. Uh. Okay, that was not it. So what in the hell is the plan here? That was not it. Thank you, Sussy. That is indeed. That's what we're fighting for. I need to wait for it to come closer. What? I don't get it. It'd be nice if we get some sort of indication as to the range which my dude will hit.
Hmm. Hello, lab. Can I help you? Can you be held? Been looking for the doctors without borders. Are you coming in here with a bit? Is that what you're doing? No, no, no. Stick with the bit. I want to see where it's going. Oh, you're coming in a little tootie. Uh. Actually, I'm I'm okay with it, with not with this bit. We don't have to do this bit anymore. Oh God. Stanley's without parabolas, but that's their favorite tool album. I distinctly do not have a chicken outfit. How dare you. Noise. <laughs> he said tee hee. Gobi, enjoy a lurk. Enjoy a lurkin, 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 lurk. Makes me feel good. Where is this dumb himbo? He likes it when the wind goes up him like that. Hmm. Like a fart in reverse is what uh, Elton John was originally going to call like a candle in the wind, but decided, you know, not the, not the most fitting for Princess Diana, maybe. Fuck.
And it seems to me like you live your life like a fart in reverse. Oh, I don't even have to. I can just smack him with it. Come here. Thank you very much for the beautiful goats. I hope you're doing well. Oh, the dodge. Oh, the breaking of the blid. Oh, the lack of dodge. No. Am I supposed to be using this to hit your dude's legs? Look at this. Was I supposed to be hitting his legs from the, the very start? Minin, thank you for sleepy dogs. Good evening to you. Well, fast, welcome back. Am I winning? Uh, I'm not losing. But I think I neglected to do the very obvious thing that I should have been doing on my way up this mountain. Now we gotta wait for this low Goron ass to make his way back down. And I don't even know if he's actually running. He might just be up there, killing. This is our comfy wear. This is how I like to be. He's not even running, is he? He's not even on his way. He's just standing up there like a cretin.
Like an absolute fool. Man, we have to lead it slow ass. Couldn't just fucking put two plus two together and realize that there's two directions on this mountain. I say as I struggle to find one of the directions. But I find it. You could have done the same. Na, 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 na. He's probably gonna have a hard time with that, isn't he? Oh, where'd he go? What am I singing? The the trailer theme for this game? That's just not anywhere in the actual game. You know, it has this little emotional bit with it, and then it blows up with a bum ba da 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 bum then it goes to the na 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 And then the game decided that's too exciting. Too exciting to have that music. Only Dinklies. Only Dinklies allowed. To be fair, they're good Dinklies. I'm not, you know, I'm not poo pooing the Dinklies. I too would react that way, Mr. Lizard. I would not be happy about it. I think that looked big enough to have a dungeon on it. Yeah, neither did the bird. You did it, Goro. If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Redinia. I just thought, thought that there, oh, pardon me, oh, I thought there might have been like a perspective trick making the bird look smaller from outside, but no, it really is. It sizens up. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm super yawny today. I didn't have like my midday sleep like I normally do. Kind of fucked me up. Had workers in all day. Fixing heating with radiators, some door problems, extractor fan issue. Got zero of my riding done. Where's this goddamn girl? Gone. Girl gone. Be back here. Where's this gossip girl? But yeah, as a result, I didn't get any of the, the writing that I wanted to get done today either. Like a little bit. But I was hoping to finish one thing. I could work on video editing purely tomorrow. Uh, and I think if I just knuckle down 
I might still be able to do it, but I also might not. You missed all the hot page people. Yeah, Kamurzi, they were like the first people that we went to. I could feel their soft, supple fishiness. My internal radar directed me immediately to them. Certainly, you said the exact same thing last time. Wait up. Okay. This might be the least fun of the, you know, catch up to the ancient beast deals. But yeah, Chad, I decided the, the game I'm gonna get for January will be Fire Emblem Engage. We'll be probably playing that come uh, February. So look forward to the most goddamn anime designs yet to be seen on stream. Colgate Chan Shallow Icon. Am I gonna play Theatrhythm on stream? Uh, so see if I play it, 100% it'll be on stream. I just don't know when I'll get around to it. I don't know if it's gonna be like an on release thing. I am an anime. No! Please tell me I'm not an isekai. Chat, would you still love me if I were an anime? You can't just go inside the volcano. Oh. You sure did. Have you considered if I was a worm? <laughs> I love that aim at Wolf Ask. I haven't seen that. Speaking of emotes, did y'all know we have a new emote here? For 5, 10, so cute. Or you can type in I'll get for an alternate version. Wow. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. Could be a little look aside here. I never stop believing in you. You're here to take control of old Rodania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Alright. I 
Why so dork? Makes sense. A nice eerie design. Oh shit. Ow. Am I planning to do the ballad stuff? Nah, nah. It was too expensive to buy them together. So I decided just to. die with curiosity and I was told that it's really it's really suited to playing it alongside the game proper rather than you know being a DLC that you could that you do after the fact Why the fuck do I? Oh, I didn't have a bow. That's why. Ballad Wonderland. Wait, is a Wonder World or I? Why would you name your game like that? Was this another one of his insider trading techniques? Urbosa's fury is ready. Thanks, babe. He was doing a little trolling with his entire career. Can't believe you would bring an actual troll face into my home in the year of our Lord 2023. <laughs> What do you think would happen if Link just put his head under that and drank the drop that came from the Sheikah Stone? That'd be okay, right? You'd be allowed to do that. No one's no one's gonna stop you from drinking the nice distilled information. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. 
Oh. Okay, so. This is our first guy. Is it just gonna rotate? Okay, so it's pretty much another... It's another of the bird. Effectively. We got another bird situation going on here. Except it's only two sides. Why did the pony forget their homework? Why did the pony forget their homework? Bad way. What? This wants me to take a... Oh, Does it bother me? No. Especially if I'm, you know... Sounding and feeling tired. I left you something you want to say to the class. Huh? The fuck? Yeah, I am tired. I am tired today. It's official. PB, tired guy. Why is this? Why is this not lighting? Video game this is some bullshit. That dream, how's it going? I like how the torch is just lit on my back. That's good. I like that for me. Oh, that's the main control unit. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Like I say, a little tired. Well, you don't need me to tell you that. Lab got you covered on the EB assigning tired front of the news for today. But no, I'm 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 alright. Living. Almost laughing. Certainly loving. <laughs> really what? Oh, you were ring fit and nice. I I got ring fit. That's the end of the story. Another subtle backseat. <laughs> that doesn't do subtle backseats. That takes the controller off me directly.
Yeah, no, I, I really, uh... Ooh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see Jimmy play Xenogears. It'll, it'll hurt me. But yeah, no, Ring, Ring Fit's a really fun game. I just couldn't be arsed. It, like, my, my Switch is under the back of my table. And I couldn't be arsed reaching under. I have to get on my hands and knees and go under a support bar in the middle of a table to disconnect the Joy-Cons, which drift. So I'm fighting drift until I start playing the game. And I have, I just have so many excuses. Well, I, geez, I, I didn't, I didn't realize this was fucking open season to just start going off. I've had a few things to say. Never mind, a few beers. I've had a few, had a few thoughts, a few notes for the stream. Fine. This is fine. Fine. What the hell? Okay, so it's got to be inside it somewhere. Side and below somehow, so there's got to be a way to get back in here. Hello? D&D? &D? Oh, well, it'll be on my channel, is that confirmed? I got no problem with that, if so. The pro. Hmm. Hmm. You saw Echo say it? Also, look, why are you apologizing? You fell on your face? What were you doing? Also, are you okay? Did it hurt? You fell from heaven. On your face. Well. I was on fire. I have such a way of words. Truly.
Five dates? Uh, is that one of those FMB games, Sussy? Alright, let's get moving. Sounds familiar. I haven't even played the prequel one date. I put something on the top of your shelf and you got distracted. Bless. Hmm. Oh, that's- is that where it slides down from? Oh, wealth refill. Thank you, Kamurzi. I appreciate that wealth refill. Thank you. I will spend it on fire emblems, for which I can only apologize. Reverse. <laughs> there are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Sorry. Normally they'd be refundable, but fire emblems are non refundable. We all have to live with that choice. Oh shit. Hmm. Right, so. That's up top a little bit. Okay, one's like on top, on top. Try and get that one first. Jeez, watching like the, the actual lava in the background makes it kind of a little bit terrifying. What? No. Back off. Bonk. <gasps> Dramatic gasp. Yeah, Tetrium, I wonder if it's gonna be like if they're gonna add just like more systems on like physics or other kind of world manipulation tools to uh you know, expand the, the, the breadth and scope of fuckery in the game. Or... Well, I, I want them to flesh out the content side of things, personally. I wanted to... Is this correct? Is this correct? It's correct! Among Us and Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's the plan. Just one terminal remain. Because the tools you have are very versatile in this game. You can do a lot with them. By the end, I have been getting a little bit sick of just playing with the same tool set. 
from uh, beginning to end. But I'm not a particularly inventive person when it comes to like using systems in games either, so uh, call it a result of my limited imagination creativity. Also, I, I don't mind the stamina system, but I wish that the stamina upgrades weren't so incremental. Like, I know it's important to invest in the stamina, but it just it does it does not feel very rewarding to see it go up that little tiny. Whoop. I wouldn't even need it to be linear. Just like make make the world feel. I don't know. There are more differences to it. I'm not expressing myself well at all. It's still yellow. I want a double jump. Yeah, give me a double jump. But you know, make it sound workable for Zelda. Call it. Uh, Slippy Jim's air slip. Raw Dad's lament. Link looks like he's cosplaying as one of those new Pokemon whose name you'll mention because of spoilers. Uh, it seems like the sort of the moratorium. Pokemon spoilers is not odd because everyone's going fucking buck wild on Twitter with them. But I just sort of given up on, you know, trying to experience all the, the Pokemon things in game. Fuck off. All right, video game, tell me what you want here. Am I wild? Is this not supposed to set on fire? Is that just a, a, a cookie little idea? Damn people. I need some blue flame. Uh, I mean, uh, no, there's another sconce that I activated with Red Flame, so I'm going to guess that you're right. I'm going to guess that you're right, but also that that's bullshit. But also... I must... Hmm. Why did I get a torch? Oh, oh, now I left taking a stance on backseat and... Yeah, I can't climb up there. Unless, am I supposed to just like... Zip and zip up there? Carrying this fella.
Hmm. Is there any bit that leads to the exterior that I can stand on? As it turns. Monetization Monday might be a day of the year. Will that do it? Where's the thing? Where is the where is the thing? Oh it's over here question mark Karma's banned. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sony... Anyone who has a PS5 gets, like, uh, the, the PlayStation Essential Collection, or whatever you call it, which is a bunch of, uh, PS4 games. Typical sell I'd be here. Is it sell all night? If I've just been for the money the entire time. Is that not just being true to myself? Where'd the ball go? <laughs> Where, where'd it go? It's not in there. Is there some... There's no goop blocking it on the way. Gwyneth has not shown herself. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I've already, I've already been, I've been practicing my American voice. It's awful, but uh, hey, I'm only insulting several of my friends. It's gonna polymol <laughs> to each other. You have to get the lips right. Eh. You have to go eh with your lips. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you rolled to the wrong part of town, buddy. I'm the sure around these parts. You here for some gales? I think I like veered into four different accents there. Nice. That was the last term. There should be a new glowing. Stay focused. You gonna ride my ass? You could at least pull my hair. <laughs> That's excellent. That's great. Very, very strong imagery.
Alrighty, here we go. The final of the four Ganon Blights. And I'll we'll play a girl. You know, if it were just text, I would. But attempting to, to voice uh, a female character, I don't have the training for it. I don't know how to do the, you know, the head voice thing that coaches can teach you. Shit. I mean, can I not just like spam this thing against him? Age of Jolly broke on me. Wait, katanas get uh, like a special draw? That's sick. Hey. That's cheating. That is not okay by PB rules. I'm gonna take a little quick sippy. Take a little sippy of my meat. I feel I'll be okay. Ha 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 Fuck you. You know, just like hit him in the face when he's charging that. Lamau, what now? Please don't just do it again. Wait, am I supposed to... Is it one of these? He does the one finger. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe it's not one of those. I like how he does like the, the one finger direct of the ball, like he's Frieza using death ball to destroy planet Vegeta. Spoilers for Dragon Ball Z. Right, let's use a let's use a big sword. All right. Stay strong now. I need to swing it a bit before. I wonder if I can pause it. I cannot. Hmm. Looks like you're hurt. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be magnetic.
It'd be great if it was. What am I... What am I... What am I not thinking? Ropes? Arrows? Bombs? Oh! It was! You want it? It's yours, my friend. Rude. Chocolate margarita? I don't know about that one. Out. Got him. Gallon of it. That's a lot. I would really, I would really choose a flavor that I was certain I wasn't going to get sick of. But I was going to get a gallon of it. Like I like a margarita too. Why is it chocolate? Yes, Lep is the, the mastermind behind the pensive margarita. It is true. Yeah, why is why is there a pizza called a margarita and also a drink called a margarita? Don't they know I get confused? Woman in res isn't isn't she just Marguerite, Margaret, Morg. Are we gonna hug him? He's got his arms up for his hug. For this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthani is now back under our control. That means that you know, I could probably complete this game if I wanted to tonight. Finally go into effect. If I went like an hour too long. Down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! Wow. From this moment forth, the power of protection 
from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. I do at least want to see the next region. Um, Akala. And I want to find... The flashbacks. His, his voice actor is not James Gandolfini. Your first and only cinema sin of the evening. It was, yeah, it was Femi. We got the lizard! Yeah, Jim Gandolfini died years ago. Do you actually not know that? Go back down to the belly button. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the great calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha! Oh, that's cute. Give him a fist pump, little guy. I'll do. A V. How you doing? Thank you for the spam bleep parables. Automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Blink. Blink. Hello. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. From your voice. And the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Was your entire voice direction be airy? Hey Hippo, yeah we are indeed in the end game. Got some exploring to do. Yeah. Lep, did you miss it whenever I specifically addressed you and said that Sai designed a new emote? Anyone who's a sub also gets access to the, you know, slightly calmer version, but still adorable one. Hey brother. Thanks so much for appeasing Rodinia, Goro. I don't know exactly what you were doing in Rodinia, but, well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on the top of Rodinia. I wonder, was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Huh? Oh, that's right. I talked to Boss about you, and he said to bring you to him. An order from Boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. Yeah, yeah, so I just came out of nowhere with it. And uh, I'm too blast. Even if Sai was not a talented artist, 
who occasionally did some some very nice art for us to enjoy. I'd be very blessed. But doubly blessed, I say. Doubly blessed. Hmm? Hey, it's you. You know told me everything. You really are something else, brother, you know that? I can't believe you conquered Virginia. Color me impressed. But good grief. Did you have to do it when my back pain went away? I was already in round to go over Virginia myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain the whole time. Imagine that. Me. <laughs> Oh, and I'm also happy to see Yonobu finally got his act together. I know that you're doing as well. But enough back patting and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. Starge. Yellow. Happy weekend to you. The Divine Beast Rodinia has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we get back to digging for ore on Death Mountain. Right. So gotta thank you, brother. <laughs> I was about to ban you. Nah, nah, you're allowed here in the evenings. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours, my friend. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. Oi, 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 DD. How's it going? We're in the end game here, so be careful. Maybe spoilers ahead. However, well, there's a hillion, you probably already know this, but. Apparently 100 years ago, the Hillian Champion had a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. That said, you've already got a rather fine blade today, don't you? Or already, rather. Mega Bibs, how's it going? My future GM. Evil who oversee my death. Also, did he congrats on getting credits? He must have stormed through this game. Never play shit as Zelda again. Sarge, I may or may not have already purchased a Zelda in like the past three weeks. <laughs> B, that's not true. If you look at little people's face close up, you see he's got like a little smile on his, his eyes are going, you know. He's doing the uwu face with his eyes. Putting this evil on the the Isle Cute. Really went for main quest objectives, then did whatever you find nearby. Play lover boy. I would never. Come to think of it, you look just like the Hillian champion who fought along who fought the calamity alongside Daruk. Excited for him to hear my accent? Oh god. I'm not. <laughs> I had to add, you know, a bit more pressure to the fact I'll be role playing live. Put you at risk? Look, if you don't vet the games that you play before you stream them, I got nothing to do with me, brother, brother. Loverboy and Candy both getting muted. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have my channel ready. <clears throat> Just in case there is anything, Megbibs, there's any, like, instructions you need to, you know, send me. I mean, I imagine I just need to, like, Point the camera at uh, roll 20 or something. All these guys got quests for me. Don't they normally open up with quests after? You take care of the the Divine Beast. Tabak. 
Daytime sure is scorching here. In any case, do you have some amber? I need lots of it. Bring me ten of them and I'll buy them for more than a shop would pay. Thanks. Here you go. 500 rupees. I need to procure other jewels as well, so keep bringing me what you find. Bring me 10 at a time, got it? As for what jewels I want to buy, well, that's likely to change every once in a while. I just wanted to complete the quest. Charges your what now? What's with you? Goodbye. What? You're the one who approached me. Why would you just walk up and say goodbye? Eh, I like your style. In fact, I'm gonna do you a favor and accept you as my student. It's settled. I'm the professor, got it? And I expect my students to let me know if they have any questions. Who are you? Virgo. Anything else? Goodbye. Hmm. I love this kid. I love the Goron kids in this game. They just have good faces. Let's see if the peeps down at the bottom have uh, any quests. Stop! Slow and. God damn it. God damn it. No double beckon boys in my chat. This is a single beckon household. Na na na. Yeah, this is not a good place for shield sliding. It leaves much to be desired. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust fish from McDonald's, to be honest with you. Cause y'all got the wrong back in. You know what? That's a fair point. I would like to try American Bex on a burger because it's that, you know, your bacon is essentially candy. Let's just, let's put it out there. It's essentially just a sweet. Which, uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Just shoe leather. Pretty much. I like how the Gerardo lady was able to survive in the sea with her regular clothes. Actually, we did we did get confirmation that uh, she had covered herself in fire resistance uh, elixir. I also thought that maybe just Gerardo were like badass enough to do it, but she said it to me. I could have let you live in that dream, but if I don't get to, nobody does. Yeah, how are you supposed to get to the foot beneath if you don't eat the shoe? Thank you, Sisto. No, no, we're not going to the castle. This is leading to the other tower. And I believe Akala, I think the region's called. Which, uh, I believe has another settlement and also has another 
ancient tech researcher that we're supposed to go and see. Want to play Street Fighter 6? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait for it to start. It's going to be so good. I hope that whenever they, uh... Wait, where's Sarge? I hope that whenever, like, they, they do, like... You know, the bigger updates with characters. Uh... That they end up, like, updating... The... The, like, world tour mode. Like they do like maybe additional seasons in the world tour. That'd be sick. I'd like that. Which they never did a beta, yeah. No, I'm 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 quite happy that you know, I can rest assured the game's good from what I've from what I've experienced so far. Game good. Sergeant, fuck sake. Ow. Hit this dumb helmet. I'm gonna wear the hood instead, even though it's like not as high stat wise. Man, you really can't just use that three times in one fight, can't you? Uh. Never even saw them coming. This is exactly why I didn't want to go truffle hunting, lousy gnat. Look at Star, you think he's a big fucking mysterious horse. Just snot all over your PC. Uh, uh, you little, little gross snot babby. Thank you for the bunch, Starge. It's La Chonk. Yeah. How are you feeling today, V? Did you get your uh, your meds? Are they helping you? Gosh darn it. Yeah. 
Ding ding ding. On the snout water. Uh Glad to hear that be. Hopefully they're not, you know, those those last symptoms aren't overly persistent. horse with his stupid hair blown in the wind. Urbosa's fury is ready. Akala's pan? This doesn't look like a pan to me. Silly fucking video game. Come on and get me. I'll take you on. You know the story behind that castle there? That's the Akala Citadel ruins. Long ago, at the peak of Hyrule's Papar, they built a fortress to protect Akala. It was said to be unassailable, but during the Great Calamity, Hyrule Castle fell. The army had no lo royalty to lead them. With no other choice, they fell back to this citadel to make their last stand. Uh. Sadly, a concentrated assault from the out-of-control guardian spelled the end for this fortress too. It's a real shame. The Kingdom Hyrule met its doom here. Uh. One of my own kin died in that battle, so I came to at least pray at the spot where they fell. But it turns out that the old guardians are still active, so this is as far as I go. Uh. Never heard of anyone else escaping a guardian's sight to leave. But you don't like you don't look reckless enough to chance it, but be on your guard in these hills all the same. Oh yeah? Not reckless enough? I'm literally too dumb to understand the dangers. Hmm, I wonder. My royal bow! Ow. Wait. No, dude, he's a he's a penguin, right? Not a duck. Ow! 
Duck King? God damn it, B. That's a... A genius suggestion. I've been spending all this time... Not having a Duck King outfit. Okay, so I got one of those killed. Now I need never fight one again. Just kill get killed by regular asters like this instead. With regular ass names like Dennis. Shit. God damn it. Don't. Hey, Wampus, how's it going? Save me, Mifa. Thank you. to die. I didn't. Yeho, what's up? Uh, this is my first, first, not my first time playing the game at all, but my first attempt at a full playthrough. Be we are of same soul. It's the only explanation. Thank you, Wombus. Much appreciated. Ba -da -ba 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 -bum. Is there no way to like rotate it? Rivali's Gale is now ready. Would you just not be a fuck for once? Okay, so you clearly don't go there. Don't be so goddamn dramatic about it. 
Hmm, do I have any... Thunderboltable gear on me. <laughs> I better be saying that because of your inability to not backseat. Who's playing Castlevania? Is it me? Is it finally time for PDB to play some Castlevania? Well, yeah, I can just go. Whoop. It looks like I can climb from here, but is this going to be one of those places that just doesn't stop thundering and lightning? What is the next Vinny on the list? Um, either one of the N64 ones or uh, Castlevania. You know, I haven't done like I haven't done a Castlevania 4 playthrough on stream or Castlevania 3 playthrough. And I also want to play the PS2 games. So really we have we have quite a few options. Remember when I threw that bomb and died? That hasn't happened. Someone told you that happened and you just believed it. You play the MSX Castlevania Vampire. Is it Vampire Killer it's just called? This is not your first time recommending it. I, I know your game. Your game is encouraging me to play Vampire Killer for the MSX. You know, as far as game go, games go, it's not the worst. Uh, fuck, I climb this thing. Is there an eye somewhere that's going to like disable some of this goop? We just give some HP to the goop. We give Gwyneth her due. B, sleep well. Vampire Killer is actually a fun game. Uh, I might do it at some point. I'm curious enough for sure. I 
I respect the different tech on uh, on Castlevania. Sure. Indigo prophecy. I don't respect that. I owe it to you after Lover Boy. Look. I didn't know what you were getting into at Lover Boy. You know about Indigo Prophecy. That makes it a greater crime. Well, spoilers. I have no reason to play it. Game is a nightmare. For some reason, I don't think that's said with affection. All right. Oh man, there's so much to this goddamn area. All right, we'll take our horsey. We'll hit up the side of Callow Plains. And here. We'll explore this island for a bit and here. Oh, the yes, shrine, though. In a hobo camp. Uh No No Oh, there's a table nearby. Man, that opponent team, good stuff. Oh, are we gyroing? I am gyroed. I think I'm kind of, I'm kind of. You know, I think I might finish this tonight. Cause it's getting to the point that I am like officially getting sick of portions of this game. A weird game, but clean. I don't want to play it anymore. What was the third plate that spun whenever I did this? Oh, this thing? Will I play Lover Boy? No, I'm not playing Lover Boy. It was, it was not an enjoyable experience for me. I'm surprised you played it as long as you did. Genius. Think you didn't care, you don't care about getting. Uh, Starge, fuck you. I care about you getting banned. That's some bullshit. Enough of that.
give me that bullshit. Pancho just lost half its votes. Thanks to your shenanigans. It didn't actually, but that upset me. I mean, that is your right, but I will be upset. Alright, none of y'all got quests. You got a quest. What do you want? Just hanging out. We'll see about that. Mm. I do get the ad money. Well, I don't even know if you you goes through it yet. Hmm, what's that? What do you have there? That's an armorant, isn't it? Could you um maybe give me some? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You do walk around my favorite plant. It seems you and I may just get along after all. That said, Akala is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what you could you have possibly come here for? I'm a traveler. I see. A traveler, eh? In that case, I have a request for you. My little sister, Gleema, is a huge fan of insects. I know, I don't get it either. But apparently there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. Don't tell me about it though. There are some things you just can't talk to about with those you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind talking to her and trying to figure out which silly insect she's so crazy about? It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday fever. Ooh, or even a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? Alright, where's the child? Uh, sorry, you. would you mind reposting it? I do not believe I saw this question. Yeah, Sarge, I, you know. It would suck for you to get banned regardless. Because your streams are fun to chill too. And I also like having you in chat a lot. And in other chats, just hanging out with you. Losing your presence would be a big boss. Hey, mister. What's up? Guess what I have? A secret. Want to know what it is? Tell me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Ready? Here it comes. My big sister, Janna, hates dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah. I once saw pictures of a warm darner, a cold darner, and an electric darner in a book. But when I showed them to Janna, he said their eyes were creepy and got mad. Oh, that was a secret, wasn't it? Janna's gonna be mad at me again. But I think it's because the pictures were all up close and stuff. I bet real ones are super cute. When I grow up, I want to travel the world and meet some real dragonflies. Yeah, so you can't seem to start writing. You know, materials well enough. You read them books. You couldn't write a single word in two days. Uh, I mean, did you set the scene appropriately? Did you block off all distractions? Did you get off time for it? Did you set music? Did you have the page in front of you? Did you simply start typing a recap of the materials that you have? Have you planned out your premise? Have you structured it? Are there specific points that you know that you want to make? So you could start with them first? Is now ready to roll. I mean, for essays, there's there's nothing to do, but, you know, just go at it. So it's you, Gleema. No, no way. Of all things, you want to see a gross dragonfly? A warm darner, a cold darner, and an electric darner? Three different types? Ugh, anything but dragonflies. Just thinking about their eyes makes me sick. I see. So Glimmer knows that I despise dragonflies, and that's why she wouldn't tell me how much she loves them. Well, this is her birthday wish. I didn't have a choice. 
Bring me a warm darner, cold darner, and electric darner, please. I want to surprise Glima, so don't tell her about this. Do I not? Which one do I not have? I'm not sure how many of these side quests I'll be doing. Alright, there's gotta be electric darners in like the desert or some shit. Port. Happy Friday. I mean, yeah, I'm not a good person to come to for advice on writer's block when it comes to essays. Every single essay I did, I started it on the day before the deadline and just smashed through it. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd read any necessary materials, but, uh, you know, all the research and stuff, all the citations, I would just, like, find them and do them in a day. And that's not really, that's not a great way to work. But yeah, you didn't answer my question. Did you do everything that I said to get the environment set up properly? Did you try starting from different places? Did you try, you know, writing without the intention of actually making the material ready for your essay? You know, in my in in my case, the shit just starts tumbling out whenever I start pulling on a thread of thought, so to speak. So maybe that's what you need to do. Oh no, it's a Hinox. Fuck you! Oh my god, the Hinox stepped on Starge. My boy's Dage. I've abandoned my child! Damn good movie. Just utterly nice. Utterly grim. The movie was weird. I mean, it was unusual. What movie? Uh, There Will Be Blood. Can Get Out be considered for the Benima Boys? Oh yeah, definitely. 
Ain't no country for old men. Wait. Is this a comparison? For there will be blood and no country for old men? Because I consider there will be blood to be like... Leagues better. Multitudes better. You seem to get around. You know much about this Kilton and his fang and bone? I've heard of him. From here I thought he was more obscure than that. Well, I'll tell you what little I know. Take this for helping me. Result of Kilton's research into monsters is this suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. He's making a number of monstrous meals. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews this stuff up at fang and bone. It's a kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. Aww. There are some weird stories going around about that Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them. He came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. Kind of want to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. Which movies end, Starge? One source I trust says he's most often found at a skull-like shape, a skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. No country. I mean, I think it resolves itself pretty well. There's not much more that you really need to know about it. Yeah, there is. Alright, well, if anyone hasn't had spoilers for No Country for Old Men, uh, be warned, we're going into that. What happened to Mr. Azukar? Azukar? You'll have to remind me which character that is. Oh, sugar. Sugar. Uh. I mean. Probably still out there doing some bad shit. Javier Bardem is your crush in every other movie. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty grim in No Country for Old Men. I mean, okay, here's the question. Why does it matter what happened to Anton uh Sugar. Like, he served his purpose within the plot. No one... No one in it benefits from, you know, the revelation whether he's dead or not. You might desire it for some sort of, like, karmic reason. But yeah, what what is that except, you know, closure to make you feel good at the end of a movie? You know, you're not, you're not owed that, so to speak. It's not natural to the story either. You know, he is uh, a nemesis. Uh, nigh supernatural force of evil that, uh, simply put, people should know better than to be anywhere near. A representation of the, the you know, the, the kind of soulless, uh, hypocritical, just Cruelty 
that uh, I can come at you if you a just have the bad luck to be in his way, or B, like uh, the well on DFS's character. Push your luck and get messed up in uh, in some shit that you really have no business getting messed up in. Wolf of Roll Street, the like the shock factor of the excess kind of wears off for me after a while. But yeah, the the other two, I'm I'm with Lab here. I'm they're enjoyable. Hackers with Angelina Jolie. <laughs> like, what if I told you that I'd never watched Hackers? Yeah, no, I get out. It's a good movie. I'd be well done for watching it with y'all. Never watch Artificial Intelligence by Spielberg. I always get that mixed up in my head with the Bicentennial Man. <clears throat> Don't think I've actually seen Artificial Intelligence all the way through. Wolf of Wall Street was the first movie appreciated Jonah Hill's performance. A little bit of disconnect between the more serious and comedic out there bits. Uh. I wouldn't say it, it's a it's a disconnect for me. But yeah, no, Jonah Hill was very. Very good in it. It was a new shield for him. Still a predominantly like comedic performance, but very different character from what he usually plays. Man, once upon a time in Hollywood, I do enjoy that film a lot. Pulp Fiction, believe it or not, is one of the ones that I find harder to go back to as time goes on. I feel like there should have been a third one. I mean, there was always that, uh, that plan to go back to the series after, like, what, like a decade or something? To play the, the drama out into the next generation. Pulp Fiction rules, but really only the Samuel L. Jackson parts. You just like it when he does the Bible quoting and is the badass. 
Is that it? I actually think for me, I think Bruce Willis' storyline uh, was like my favorite. I'm watching it. I just feel like it's a movie that's, you know, a lot of great actor parts in it. But it always felt like more like a showcase of scenes rather than. I just didn't. It, it didn't. It didn't. Like Quentin Tarantino was, in my opinion, like one of the best people for making the best use of actors with very limited screen time. Be anyone's performance in Kill Bill that isn't uh, Uma Thurman, and Pulp Fiction is entirely that. I just. I don't know. I just also like it when it's like. You know, when we spend more time with a character. We should watch Showgirls. Never watch Showgirls. Pilled. I don't want to be foot pilled. I don't want to know what foot pilled means. Since I got Mia Wallace part, uh, I don't agree with that. I don't think Travolta was like particularly. I mean, Travolta scenes with uh, with Samuel Jackson were good, but yeah, I didn't super follow the romance with Mia Wallace. But I thought Uma Thurman did her well, character. And also, you get that excellent scene in her apartment with the girl, you'll be a woman soon. Which is, uh, a good song, despite that concerning line. But yeah, it almost felt like Pulp Fiction. And to an extent, Reservoir Dogs. I think Reservoir Dogs is great, but I feel like they're like the first movies where like Quentin Tarantino, you know, showcased his uh, writing flair. Can never watch another Star Wars. Lord of the oh, I can watch Lord of the Rings like easily. Lord of the Rings. Fellowship of the Ring might be the best fantasy film ever made. But uh, I agree with Star I'm done with Star Wars for sure. I might play the Star Wars games, but you love them, but they're so long. Part of the good thing about them. You like the game for- There was a Reservoir- No, there was not a Reservoir Dogs game. Surely there wasn't, Pimmy. Tell me you're lying. What the- uh, The entire movie takes place in one room. I mean, like... After about 15 minutes. I said after 15 minutes. <laughs> B. 
Bing. The Ulria. All right, fuck it. We'll we'll do all this stuff. Uh, I've been up to Tal Tal Peak. I've been up Plumber's Mountain, so I don't need to do that shit. Star Wars for me just, I don't know, never, never had the... The emotional heart that I wanted. And I, I can, I, I'm counting the original trilogy in this as well. I'm not a huge fan of the original trilogy of Star Wars. To me, it always felt like it was being made up as I went along. And I'm fairly certain that that's like the truth. <laughs> Can the Venom Boys watch Lockstock and do smoking barrels? Sure. Why not? Underworld's the best fan of the- come on now. <laughs> She's so hot. That does not make it the best fantasy movie series. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, I was so worried the Sarge might fucking burn to death. Locksock is the height of comedy. No. It is fun though. I do enjoy Lockstock and Snatch. Lockstock too. Lock harder. You Stawa violated my childhood stuff is over dramatic, but again, opinion content. Uh I don't really, don't really have, have, have much for either way on that. The big bald guy? You mean, uh, Jason Statham? Oh wait, you mean the, the, the guy who works for Big Tony? Oh, not Big Tony. Big something? The bad guy's right hand man, essentially. Hatchet Haris, yeah, Hatchet Haris. Taken in command. Who the angrier he gets, somehow the rounder his voice gets. Yeah, I was thinking of Big Chris, that, that is true. He is very good. He is very good, yeah. I'm with you. He's probably one of my favorite. Favorite characters in that movie as well. Watching... If you, you ever have a child there watching Akira Kurosawa... No! I didn't show a fucking child, Rashomon? What's wrong with you? No, I don't not even understand. Don't let a child watch Rashomon. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's... We're putting the foot down. What is Rashomon? Uh, it's a Akira Kurosawa movie. Uh, where essentially... There's some it's pretty brutal crimes done. And it's by Carter's different interpretations and memories of the events. And you as the viewer uh, see it from like the perspective of a, I think it's like a judge or whatever. Um, or a, a, 
whoever is passing judgment on these people and you watch their recollection of these events and you know the whole idea is who's lying who's telling the truth what actually transpired here Okay, where's Port going with this? Can you feel the love in there? Port could. Port felt the love. Man, I, I kind of want to just put like every Kurosawa film in Binema, along with every Satoshi Khan movie. I don't know if there's like, is there a line of like, I have my personal line of like movies to not, that I don't want to see in Binema. And there are a lot of movies I just don't want to see in general. And they'll not be named by me. But is, what, what is like the line of comfort for Binema watching? Are we okay with a perfect blue? Yeah, yeah, we did watch Edition. That is true. Auditions, one of your favorite movies? Oh, hell. Oh, Perfect Blue? Yeah, Perfect Blue is fantastic. Satoshi Khan ended up a little bit uncomfortable with some of the more like voyeuristic scenes in it. Uh, which I can understand. But. Damn if it wasn't, you know, effective at, at putting you in the moment with the character. You never saw it? Explain. Uh, no, you should probably, you should watch it in that case. Although it is a bit scary. Sitting in a chat for Perfect Blue. Throwing sussy emotes. Uh... Okay, I reckon you're right then, Starge. Don't want to talk spoilers in case there's anyone who here who like wants to watch it. Oh man, what the fuck? Everyone, stop beating on me, I don't like it. Yeah, that's like the thing. The thing is that the way that they're that they're used in the movie is to me incredibly interesting. But like, I reckon if someone's you know not up for watching a movie with you know themes of uh, of sexual assault, uh, probably probably doesn't really matter. You know the meta aspect of them. So as as far as I'm concerned, I'd just say you know it's 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 probably an art. If that's, uh, someone's, you know, if it's something that they don't want to see depicted at all.
Wait, that lizard was chilling there in the middle of the fight. Looked at me like, why well, are you beating up them big lizards? Am I next? Fucking maybe. Ding, ding, ding. And there was a comet at that point. I really, I really consider Truman Show a comedy. I don't think I've ever like thought of it as a comedy. Silver skill spear. The most skilled Zora fighters wield the spear. Its beautiful fish shield design belies its impressive strength. The spearhead can pierce even the toughest skills. Cool. I mean, yeah, Jim Carrey does like he hams up a bit in that movie as well. I think it's been a bit messed you up or affect you strong anyway. Uh, the one that always comes to mind for me is not even my first watch, my second watch of uh, of Grave of the Fireflies kind of fucked me. I mean, the first one did as like as well, but I think like the second one just. You know, no one. It's the kind of movie that it's, while I wouldn't want to spoil it on someone, I don't think it's uh, in any way ruined by knowing the ending. Uh, no port. I've seen a lot of clips of it. I, I would be dying for, che for checking that out at some point. Such a, a weird, uh, goofy, mixed media style movie. <laughs> Let, that was the last, uh, that was the last Hobbit movie that I watched as well. it was so bad yeah I would like to see those I would like to see like the edit done of those movies where they just keep it as close to what's in the books as possible And like, it's not because I'm a, like, complete purist. I think that a lot of the... I'm making those sucky noises. It's so weird. I think, like, a lot of the original... The, the adaptive choices... Made in the Lord of the Rings trilogy worked quite well, for instance. But I just think, like... The Hobbit felt long for the sake of getting long. With not really much to say. Like the the larger role of Legolas. You know, I didn't mind like the necromancer part as much. Because that felt like filling in filling in the blanks that at the time of writing Tolkien didn't know was there. But then again, can't really sad because Tolkien went back and redid Riddles in the Dark after uh, after writing Lord of the Rings, for instance. But you know that 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 was plot relevant stuff. That leads directly into you know bigger things in the series. But you know Legolas's involvement, the the new elf character that they made, all felt very. Committee led, for lack of a better word.
The Twink Dwarf. So you could be harsh reading for them. Uh, it is worth it. I mean, in my opinion. Just read his dark materials. Lap, I feel like we find your uh, your blind spot here. The Twink War? Yeah, that's my... That's my fantasy epic. Win more, that's much less exciting. I like reading books like maybe fifty pages at a time on nights. I've I've become a a big audiobook when walking uh guy. I should get into reading proper again. It is it is a somewhat different experience. Not a hugely different experience. I think it just benefits from being able to go over passages again quite easily. <clears throat> but you know there is that uh, there, there is that fact that listening to audiobooks uh, sort of hits the same brain activity as reading a book as opposed to listening to a podcast. Uh, funnily enough, people who didn't know how to read and listen to audiobooks, different parts of their their brain responded. Whisper sing? I don't know. What, what is that lap? I'm not familiar with that. Jean-Claude Van Damme hit movie Double Impact. Huh, that's interesting, Lip. I've never... Never even considered that before. I think that I, I might just find that more distracting than anything, but... You get something out of it. That's all I want. Well, if you don't get something out of it, you have to leave. I have that book, but I have not. I got that book fucking... When I was like 18, and I still haven't read it. Probably up my bookshelf still. I'm pretty sure I brought it to this house whenever I moved here. No, my boomer bang. Whew. 
grind, you say? Why not? You have Lolita on yourself. It's a good read, but you know, it's always one of those ones that's gonna just be feel weird to admit have them because of its subject material. Wait, is it one of the inspirations of Stalker? I thought Stalker was like straight up an adaptation of it. That's not high enough to make it up there. And I see what I'm supposed to do.
Roadside Picnic is not connected to the Stalker franchise in any way, but the concept of closed off zone and the anomalies and the once mysterious things that happen within act as a big partial inspiration for the game. Toss in some post Soviet melancholy, good mix of conspiracy theories, and that Stalker. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was, uh, you know, not, not a one to one adaptation, but you know, based in the world. That's good to know. Thank you, Port. Among us is Lorla flies in space. <clears throat> Lap, are you working on a Polygon article or something? Sarge, I love that I'm, you know, as far as you're concerned, I am the voice of Brand Nubian. That is how it should be. Shields issued, issued a shield issued to the Hyrulean royal family's immediate guard detail. Boasts a high defense, but these days more of a collector's item due to its ornamentation. There was a shield here. I'll, why would you assume that I'm tiny? Out of curiosity. I am of slightly above average height, thank you. Not that there would be anything wrong with me being a short king, because I would indeed be kingly. You go by voice? Does my voice just say, little guy? A little guy to you? My voice doesn't doesn't give off my hide vibes. Okay. I am what I am. Yeah, I want to watch Tarkovsky's uh, Stalker. I wanted to watch that for quite some time. He's in the voice plus avatar. Matches uh, it averages out to tiny. I'm curious what about my my voice says small to you. Nope. Old Isle Babiness. Well, it is consistent. Oh, that's why Kamerzi said ready to roll. I get it now.
Give me your fish. You don't deserve no fish. If this isn't a shrine, I swear to fuck. Also, I feel like those ruins up there might be host to a memory. Far off dream. That's like a scattered memory. Scattered memory that's like a far off dream. Yeah, I, I swear to fuck whatever is in the middle of the the spiral. <sighs> I've said what I've said. I shan't repeat myself. Not sure if I'll be officially adopting that moniker, but thank you. It would be kind of sick if there was just a Lionel waiting. Not for fuck reasons, but I mean like as a final challenge to... Guide the ball to its destination. A Lionel would absolutely ruin me. You're gonna be Octorox, aren't you? You assholes. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Bouncing, 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 makes me feel good. Thank you, Runtus. Keeping the dream alive. Ah, shit. I was hoping to get... No! Drop it, you shit. Fucking drop it! Oh no! No, 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 no! Fuck off. You and Kaleo are the same guy. I mean, Kaleo is pretty henchin from what I've heard. You're also enhenching yourself.
Mildly to moderately hench. I mean, that... I'll, I'd take that. Below mild, gently hench. Well, there you go, Yuho. You got a, you got a jumping off point to kick from. Well, that's fair, Yuho. Whatever helps you get the the workflow started. Good. I was hoping this would just be one more ease. Yep, you did it already. You win. Take your shit and leave. What are you playing, Rune? What are we what are we crawling in? When's to be crawling? Arc Fatalis. Nerd, look at the lizard on that this lizard skittering. I think it's definitely the nerdiest game you've played yet. We'll get you sorted. Don't you worry. This is too long a stretch of water to swim across, isn't it? A bat... Glad my... My bath isn't even fucking big enough for me to get into. I have to sit all folded up like an accordion. Because it's like... Too small. My legs don't fit. Your legs stick out? I, I don't want my legs sticking out. The size of football? Yeah, imagine how small the bath is. <laughs> when I love that your your final message before you realize you have to lurk is I don't have a bath. That's why they call him Stinky Run. But yeah, enjoy your uh, Arx Vitalis. Is it Arx Ars Ars? Fi no, it's, it is Arx Vitalis. Started practically barking there. Ors, ors, ors. Shrine in a woods. Head in the lost woods. Bridge looking up in the at Laneru, I believe. Fucking any trees. Castle town. Hmm. Not too many bridges. I'm sure we could find that one. And I know where that mountain is. We just need to find the right angle from it. And then that is directly south of Castle Town. Hey, Poco. You're here to watch us beat The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.
I'm not actually gonna beat it tonight, but I uh, I won't be doing I won't be doing the whole thing of like clearing my map of all the the points on it. I think what I will do is uh, finish off this region. The next stream will be collecting the memories, memories, and then beating that game. So yeah, Monday will be our last stream of the breaths of the wild. Was there anything here to warrant the expenditure of three lightning arrows? No. No, there was not. Ow. There is something satisfying about collecting all the monsters' parts after you kill them. Just tapping the A button. Getting that wheat pickup signed. What do we have left to explore in this region after I do this? Uh, I just head through the Torn Wetland, up through here, through Shadow Pass, check out the quarry and that lake. All right, I'll probably clear all the way up here, and then back here. Um. Oh no, you know what? I'll go up this way. I'll actually take this right up along the mountains over to here and then down Skull Lake all this way and then Torn Wetlands. Okay, so whenever I hit this plateau, we'll go to this maze as well. Untitled Ghost Game was actually the same soundtrack. Yeah. I accept. I accept this outrageous lie. Karma, you ain't even the first person to make that joke today. 
But you're still valid. Huh? Oh shit, I didn't even mean to hit that wolf. God damn. You wanna have a katana fight? Ow. Ow. Take your sword instead. What you gonna do about it? No, every every single joke I've ever made has been one hundred percent original. Never before seen. Big Liddy time. Sweet boy, please listen to my story. You know what? Before I do this, I'm just going to take a, a real quick BRB. I need to get myself another drink. I'll be back in like just a couple minutes. Less than a couple minutes. I reckon a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, I know that was more than a couple minutes, but listen, I had a little pee, but it's okay, because I'm a lied one.
Arm up. No. Oh. I am the great fairy Mija. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me. Quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 1,000 rupees. Yeah. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. Good. I do love the the shell thing that they got going on with the tops. So you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree. A good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Let's see if we can get any enhancements going. Mm. Wait, she does a whole different enhancement? I shouldn't have skipped that animation. <laughs> Good. Like, do you not do potpourri? Oh. What is potpourri? It's like, uh, it's like dried. Fragrant organic materials. No, you do not spread on your toilet. It's like you keep a bowl of it and it makes the high smell nice. We can go on outside and smelling flowers. Well, fucking. I don't have a solution to that. Okay. Ooh. I got an email. Fuck. Deku deals. Check that. Oh. I love a good Deku deal. Let huh. mm. potpourri is not something you spray. It's not a chemical thing. Ooh. It's like a bowl of like fucking twigs and shit and they smell nice. Oh. You know the bowl? I'm I'm feeling that you don't. I'm feeling that you're only pretending to know this bowl. Mm. To calm me like you would calm a horse. See, how am I supposed to believe you? Mm. 
I just want to believe this leprosy X. Okay, I hate that. <laughs> I accept it as true, but I hate it. You know from a podcast sponsor? I suppose you think of the fucking manscaped ads everywhere. Oh, you'll never get- yeah, it was awful. You know, m most people who get those ad reads feel like they have to try and lean into the crassness. And I dislike it. Alright. So we can make some pretty significant upgrades here. Feels good. A waste of Rivali's gills, just pure laziness. But uh, that is in character, that tracks. Man, this is a damn good shield skidding hill right here. Oh, solid. Continues to be solid. This is sick. I want to get the, the second circle of the Bamina Bessel complete and then I'll be content to only stick to hard upgrades.
Urbosa's fury is ready. Hmm. Nice. Also, yeah, I, you know what? I tend to dislike most of the rewards in this game. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen to me by simply teleporting. Like the fact that they just increase your one of your three inventory slots by one is uh although I guess you know finding Koroks is, is fun enough by itself. I kinda like like I like the things that you do for the rewards, but the rewards themselves in this game tend to less than thrill me in most cases. I mean, I like, I find the Koroks for the Yahahas. You feel me? In some ways, I would agree with that sentiment, Karma. In other ways, I do think this is definitely, like, this is one of the, the, the better use of open world assets and design. Uh, that I've seen in a video game. It's one of it's it, it, like, in terms of like making me, even the rewards and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind like yeah, I don't mind like empty spaces because I think that the map has like enough interesting geography and so on. That, uh, you know, it, it's good incentive for me to want to explore. Even though, in most cases, what is at the end of that exploration does not feel in itself worth it. Yeah, I think we're all kind of run the same feels on it. It seems. Yeah, I mean, and I, I think that that's something that I would hope to see a major change in in the second game. Point to landscape because simply cannot get a game where you leave one time, turn the corner, and then there's the next. Yeah. Understandable. Oh no, surely it would not happen again. Not to our PB. Not to our we, huh? That's even more disappointing. What happens if I skate on one that also attracts lightning? Please, please strike before I slow down. Well then. Do you think Mifa like sees what happens before I die? I think she saw. T 
Taylor said the chocolatini was nice. Oh, it was, uh, it was a martini rather than a margarita. 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 Ancient tech lab. That is one thing I've been meaning to find. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Where were you, Rivali, when I was fucking skating down hill on a metal shield and a thunderstorm? Didn't mean to press that, but it sure did happen. Hundred percent a killer. I'll ask you as many times as it takes. Isn't Master Quigger really dreamy? He got a dumb belly. A dumb belly. So your plan was not simply to defeat Master Koga, but to mock him as well. You can offer your apologies to Master Koga in person. Isn't he dead? Give me your bananas. Fucking dweebs. He's dead now. I mean. Didn't we kill him? The lady made reference to us defeating Master Koga. Hmm. Hmm. Need to kill the whole family. I mean, given how many we have actually fought. There's gotta be like four. Four left. Did the dog deserve that? Or you decide. Oh man, is it going to be... To the peeps who are like fans of this game, to the Breath of the Wild enjoyers, would you, do you think you would appreciate it if they added like tools, usable items, such as, you know, the traditional like the boomerang, the hook shot, stuff like that? Would they be welcome additions to the game? Because whenever I think of like, other Zelda games that revolve around relatively free exploration of an open world. That's like the that's the that's like the thing I think of is like I really want to discover that and outfits in this game. Outfits in this game are a really good reward. I love finding finding new outfit pieces, and that's a very easy system to expand upon as well. So it shouldn't be too different for that. Yes, but there are enough tools, you think? Yeah, I was kind of, I was a little bit disappointed by the, uh... I was a little disappointed. I mean, there are boomerang items in this, and I, that's the thing, I, I love how they work, so 
They're not a good example because I think they work just fine as uh, weapons. But, whilst I do not mind, you motherfucker, whilst I don't mind weapon durability, they do remove the, uh, like, I don't feel rewarded whenever I pick up a weapon, for instance. It's like, a little, a little temporary toy, is what it feels to me, effectively. There's a... Chest, chest on that hammer, I'm guessing. I don't care. But yeah, I could imagine a hook shot. I could imagine like a little thing to skid across the water on. Could be really fun. Uh, you know, something that you could shield surf on infinitely after a while would be great. I think there's like a, there's a lot of tools you could add to this game. Hi. Hello. Uh, something wrong? The blue flame. Hmm? Sorry, guess I was daydreaming. Life's been so dull since I married into this family. I used to pass time by staring at the lantern's blue flame. But the director at the uh, Akali Ancient Tech Lab hasn't lit the fire in so long. The lab? Yes. Its director used to light the lanterns with a blue flame for his experiments, but he's getting up there in age now, so maybe he can't get down as often as he used to. I'm talking about the Akali Ancient Tech Lab, right up this road, if you haven't been. They remodeled it from an old lighthouse, so it's easy to spot. More things to look for in the outcome of Zelda. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the possibilities of Tears of the Kingdom, for sure. Ah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I haven't seen you around here. Well, you sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Who are you? Sorry, I haven't known just myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? Nah. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, no, there, like, there are definitely cool weapons that I enjoy getting. But I think that's probably like where the durability does thing a bit for me. There is raining a lot. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Haas. He's got a dangerous run here lately. It has. Yeah. Recently I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. You're making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? Yes, I do. You've heard something? Well, if you have any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. So if we see him, we take a little snap. Yeah, the game like does a good job of making certain weapons feel quite unique and distinct. It's just a, it's a, like, They've got like so many of the things like all lined up in this game that uh, yeah it really does make me excited for the options that they could flash out in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, it's a blue flame business. Like the most, the most disappointing thing to me would be if blue, if like 
Tears of the Kingdom wasn't expanded. Breath of the Wild. Like it was just it was just if it was more of this, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think the team is you know, ambitious enough to have created this game. They gotta be ambitious enough to go all the way with it, so to speak. For the broadsword guy. Oh, that wasn't my boomerang I threw. Shit. I just threw away one of my swords. There it is. Would you turn around? Smacked him in the butt so hard he died. I love it. Oh shit, what the fuck? No. All right, yes then. Man, I really am just smacking him with a fucking torch. Cursed, how you doing? Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm very, very curious as to what this guy can do for us. Is this the guy? I... It's... And... It's... Oh. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Hmm... Hmm? Hmm? Are you the one called Link? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. That's too bad. 
If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I'd need to tell you. How can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, high indeed. Hmm. Yes. If you can show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago, that should prove you are truly Link. The wounds my body suffered? Yes, the number of scars on your body. Just as I remember. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity 100 years ago. Yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robby! In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and Bo her powers? I met a child. Hmm? Pura? A child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm. Or do you mean that Pura aged backward and she is not a child? How would you guess that? Pura got younger. Hmm. Are you certain? Hmm. So crazy as ever. Okie doke. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I didn't know. Are you serious? Well then, I suppose I should tell you that's my story, hmm? You don't have to. Yes, I see. In that case... You. Now is the time to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? You must destroy the Calamity. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces and put an end to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Did you catch all that? Cherry. Mm, the ancient oven. Creates ancient soldier gear, but here she's out of sorts at the moment. Great someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Doing this again. Good day. And check it out. How is that? You're gonna give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Labs director, Pura, a shot. He was a bit much for the first time meeting you, though. Yes. <laughs> Link, don't worry about it. It's all okay. So what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, yeah. I'm Jaren. Hey. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history, to be honest. I've been focusing a lot of my research on shrines. Well, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but the challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Got any other questions? No. See you later. I mean, would you not also remember a body like Link's? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. Is this the skull? That's supposed to be the skull like? Oh no, that's the. <laughs> that might be the skull like. <laughs> Excellent. Have I fed all the doggos yet? I haven't fed a single doggo. And dogging getting my food. Where's this ancient furnace? I 
Ancient Furnace. Hard to see where it might be with all this gosh darn thundering and lightning. But maybe the adventure log quest will tell me where it is. Or is that going to just lead me back up to the... Oh no, it's not. I thought it might just lead me back to the, the research lab, but... I pick up a tree branch. I don't want this. You have it. And you have it. Fuck. Dude, entirely ruined my stealth approach. Ow.
Gieße. Oh man, the rain stops. Your blue flame. That sucks. I may or may not have been about to set that box on fire. We simply will never know. Good old blue flame. So soothing to stare at, don't you think? Man, that husband is not doing right by his wife. If the blue flame is, you know, the most exciting thing going on. Will this ancient armor be super dorky or not? That's the question. Oh shit. Can you fuck off? Just until I light this. Alright, it is fucking on! Katana fight! Ow! And then I steal his sword. Good. Very good. You, Link, listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. The furnace is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Very nice. They're made using secret, uh, secret Shika technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they are morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. 
Needless to say, they're an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them ancient arrows. In addition to ancient arrows, Terry can make all kinds of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out. With rupees. Lots of them. I beg you. Let's do it, hmm? Two of us as soon as possible. Yes. Let's conquer the calamity, hmm? Hello. Familiar name missing. Welcome. God damn. The prices on all this shit. That's ridiculous. I guess, you know. They can't just reward me for having gone around and collected all the materials and so on. That would have been uncouth. Let's see if I can sell some shit. Curse Blessing, may I direct your attention to the BTTV emote? I'll cue it. Have I found all the picture locations? Nah, that's gonna be a uh, goal for next stream. Picture locations, then Hyrule Castle. Am I about to be on fire? Uh, I'll be finishing up very soon. I am. I am tired. For sure. I'm sleepy. You. Gonna sell you some shit. Seven of the opals. Take eighteen of my luminous stone. Take twelve of my topaz. Four of my. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where is that? Gerudo Liddy. Or Gerudo Liddy. Or get your wife. There she is. I do have ten topazes. Let's fucking go. Could have checked with her before I started selling at the shop, but oh well, we're we're getting there with the money. Hey. Oh. Uh, let's sell 13 of these bad boys. Ah. 
tempted to sell all my diamonds. Alright, given that we have so many materials to sell, it's not... Not so bad, the costs of this asshole stuff. I have killed a lot of Lizalfos. Not sure about any of these. How much do the cores cost, or sell for rather? Eh, 200. Not as much as I expected. Alright. Should be able to buy the full armor set. And then, uh. Maybe one of the weapons? I'm guessing that you can buy the weapons for that much, so they must have either high durability or like you can repair them easily enough for something like that. Could be a dangerous assumption to make, but hey ho. Oh shit, we don't have enough ancient gears? Man. Art thy for real. That is cool though. That's a cool ass weapon. Guardian resist step, nice. Defense isn't too great, but obviously we can uh, upgrade it. All right, that is where we are gonna save it for tonight. And uh, yeah, that is gonna be it. Thank you everybody for coming in. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for Spending time with me, watching some Breath of the Wilds. But that final region almost fully explored. A few points of interest I want to check out in it. But then after that, next stream is mostly going to be dedicated to, I imagine, finding what uh, memories we have left. And then after that, the Hyrule Castle region. And in the middle of it all, Ganon. But for now, I will say thank you once again, everybody. Uh, thank you, Kamurzi, for the nine month resub. And uh, yeah, we had some had some follows when I was offline as well. Just in case anyone was, I don't know, here who followed whilst I was offline. Thank you very much for doing so. Do appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. I don't know if it's on this channel or otherwise. At 7 p.m., I'm going to be playing Night Shift, modded by Mega Babes, or sorry, DM'd by Mega Babes. 
will be playing alongside Teeler, Rune, Echochrome, and J. McGinger. It's going to be a great time. Uh, and let's go raid one of those peeps right now. Teeler is good. Playing some Yakuza 5. I'm going to enjoy me the rest of my drink. And then I'm going to enjoy my ass, my bed. So, uh, yeah. Until next time. Thank you all again so much for, for hanging out. Chilling. Keep me company as we adventure through these breathy wilds. Uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, then hopefully I'll see you on Sunday when we have a double whammy stream. In the morning, we're going to be playing Drenus, which is going to be excellent, I imagine. Well, I mean, I already enjoyed what I played of Drenus, so it's it, it just needs to live up to itself. And then after that, in the evening, 7.30pm, we're going to be playing Lost Odyssey. Please look forward to it. But uh, until next time, take care, everybody. Be good, and bye-bye.